Please welcome Peter Hellier. Melbourne! Melbourne, my hometown and the sporting capital of the world. Are we the sporting capital? Yeah. There's nothing we love more than watching our sports stars on the field. Possibly second only to watching our sports stars fuck up off the field. <laughs> And it doesn't even have to be the sports stars anymore. It could be their managers. Who knew? <laughs> Ricky, what a mess. Ricky Nixon's in. His, his situation's pretty messy. It's so messy, pretty soon Anna Bly's going to start doing press conferences for him. That's how messy it is. <laughs> Somebody said, the media came out and said, it couldn't, you couldn't imagine a worse scandal for Ricky Nixon. You couldn't imagine it. I disagree. Because as much as he was caught and photographed, on the front page of the biggest paper in the country, in his undies, <laughs> allegedly in a hotel room with a 17-year-old schoolgirl, allegedly there were drugs, allegedly there was sex. <laughs> At least he didn't have his testicles licked by a Labrador. <laughs> because that happened in the NRL last year. John Monahan had to resign from the Canberra Raiders because he had a photo taken with his dog having his nuts licked. <laughs> you all saw the photo. You've still got the fucking photo in your phones. <laughs> he, he, he was forced to resign. He said in the press conference, I guess I'm paying the price for always trying to be the life of the party. <laughs> what fucking parties are you going to? <laughs> the people I hang out with, the life of the party is whoever does the best robot dance. They're the life of the party. <laughs> It's great to be here, the sporting capital of the world. We had the Grand Prix recently, that was exciting. I only lost $2 billion this year, jackpot. <laughs> I love the Grand Prix. Some people find it boring, and I, I find it a little bit boring. And Bernie Eccleston is the, uh, the, the big, you know, the head honcho of your Formula One. He even has recognised that some people do find it boring. He, this is an idea he came up with. It was in a paper a little while ago, you, might, you may have read it. He wants artificial rain to fall down on the drivers while they're racing. Like, that sport isn't dangerous enough. <laughs> it's artificial rain. Does he know it's not fucking Mario Kart? <laughs> Turtle shells, banana skins, and penguins. <laughs> it's bizarre. And we nearly got the World Cup. How excited the FIFA World Cup 2022. The media led us to believe we were going to get the World Cup 2022. We're all excited, all working out. How old are we going to be in 2022? Doing the sums. Sorry, Grandad. Um, <laughs> away from Grandad, away from Grandad, away from Grandad. It was exciting. People got up in the middle of the night to see the announcement. It was, it was in, somewhere in Europe and they made the announcement and they got up in their Socceroos outfits and in Melbourne they went to Federation Square at two o'clock in the morning to watch the announcement. And in Sydney they went to the Rocks and a big, a big screen, they watched the announcement. And in Canberra they went to Gary's house. And <laughs> Because we're all hoping for that great announcement, you know, the, the Samaranch moment, the winner is Sydney moment. That was so good before the Olympics, but we didn't get that moment, did we? We got the winner is Qatar moment. That's not the one we wanted. <laughs> and I've got to say, the reaction from the people at the life sites were a bit over the top. I'm not sure if you saw it on the news. People were at two o'clock in the morning in their socceroos, <laughs> green and gold <laughs> on their face. Just going, but what? <laughs> what is bullshit? This is bullshit! It's a conspiracy! It's a conspiracy! Qatar! Qat Where the fuck is Qatar? I personally never trust a country whose national airline is Air Qatar, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My name's Peter Helly. Have a great comedy festival. Happy birthday! Peter Helly!